You know what I haven't seen as much lately? Zombie movies. What happened? Did we just get to a point where it was like... Well, that's that. You guys want to make 19 more ghost films? And I might be totally wrong here, but when I think of zombie movies, I just think of the early 2000s. It's Dawn of the Dead and 28 Days Later. I guess what I'm trying to say is, what zombie movie in the past decade has made waves besides like Train to Busan? I mean, I'm looking at a list right now and, oh, well, this one came out in 2018. Day of the Dead Bloodline. Oh, well, it's a remake of uh, George Romero's Day of the Dead. So it's gotta be good. He said knowing full well he was about to unravel a chubby diaper fueled by double cheeseburgers and stinky- This isn't even freeze framed, I'm just- I just held that pose. Stinky ass juice. But there is good news. I got reached out to and this sounded like a lot of fun. So, this video that you're watching is sponsored by The Walking Dead Survivors. The very new mobile strategy tower defense game licensed by The Walking Dead creator. I'll be showing you a bit of that. And you can download that game available on iOS and Android using my link below in the description. But let's get to the review. Day of the Dead Bloodline has one massive flaw, amongst others, but this one's important. This movie has a lineup of over-exaggerated characters. If someone's a prick, they're an absolute hothead douchebag. If someone's compassionate, they're empathetic to a fault. And if someone's tough, they're tough as nails. Welcome to Salty Spittoon, where we drink old fashions through our asshole. fully blame the script here, but it's not like the acting gives me some glimmer of hope. It's just a slow dive into mediocrity. We jump straight into the beginning of the apocalypse. And one thing I do thoroughly enjoy in this movie is the savagery of the zombies, which they call rotters. Comedic at times and also just ruthless. <laughs> It's nice to see zombies with some knots on them, you know what I mean? Four hours earlier. Med students gather around a dead bald guy and do med student things. Can you find this man's cause of death? Syphilis? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you forgot to wrap it up, big guy? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a joke. Stop. P.S. That skit was a thousand times not worth it because I Google searched syphilis and looked at images to possibly follow up with another joke. And I reminisce on the world where I had never seen a photo of what syphilis looks like. Don't do what I did. Everybody's voice in this movie throws me off. I don't know if it's just a buttload of ADR or just really terrible line delivery or really terrible line delivery through ADR. <laughs> Any chance you want to come to the end of the semester's fiesta? You're coming, right? No, you go ahead. I have some tests to finish up first. Hey, don't beat yourself up. I know you can be obsessed about these things. I know. I just can't believe I didn't see it. Okay, call me. I will. Acting, ladies and gentlemen. Behold, a very specific type of acting where I leave this interaction wondering, are they friends or are they enemies? I couldn't tell. Zoe, our main character, has a patient that comes in weekly to give blood because he's an anomaly. He has a hundred times the normal amount of antibodies. He looks like this. And we don't stereotype on this channel, but yes, he's everything you think he is. What gave it away? The classic predator part in the hair? Or was it the fact that he went to Macy's and said, hey, I'm looking for something that's uh, mature, but also not too formal. I also want to look like a janitor. And in the midst of him being inappropriate, he rolls up his sleeve. What is that? You like it? Is there a problem in here, Zoe? No. Get out of here, you creepy old fuck. So I can't help but notice that neither of them really acknowledged the carving of her name in his skin. Creepiness aside, aren't you guys trying to be doctors? Shouldn't something like that, I don't know, maybe worry you in terms of infection or blood loss? Nah, <laughs> get out of here, you creepy fuck that we just got more blood from. You can't let people do that to you, Zoe. Be stronger next time. Yeah, Rachel, what are you, a fucking pussy? If you want to be a doctor, you better get used to your patients Hancocking your name in their flesh. I know it's a bit forward, but... Come on, the party's waiting. I love fake parties so much. It's... Wow, amazing every time. Nothing says pre-pandemic like running a train on a fishbowl. You're like Peronas. Zoe goes to help Peter get more kegs from the morgue and- You're an asshole. Come on, you know every one of us has wanted to do that. Sorry, I'm a dick, I know this. Now can we please go get drunk? Can we get a second take on that? On which line? Everything he just said. This doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Like at all. But they said they have three kegs and these look like six barrel kegs, which literally would just add up to a half barrel, which is fine, right? 
That's, that's, that's fine. It's just not exactly optimal. You know every one of us has wanted to do that. Did you eat Tommy Wiseau? So as she wheels out this keg, Max somehow sneaks in and starts to lick her face. But thankfully, as you know, there's a hero in all of us. Even after we're dead. Ain't that right, Tommy Pickles? She gets away, tries to warn the party, but yeah, I don't know. They must be too drunk as they waste like 30% of their drink per cheers. Rest in peace, everybody, except Zoe. <laughs> Five years later. Zoe's a part of a refugee camp slash military station working as a doctor. And these roles are important in a group to survive. For example, in The Walking Dead Survivors, Vane's my handyman, Shane's my muscle. Not sure why Dan Goodman's here. And this kid just keeps talking about cr cranky 90s? I don't know. Experience the OG story in a post-apocalyptic world with more than 80 original characters. Shout out Dale. I love that hat, dude. That man was probably mean on a kayak. Strategize with limited sources and defend your home with what you can. Go, 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 go! I got 20 seconds, buddy! Picaro right here. She's got deep range. I'm gonna put her over here. Oh, I need this Molotov ASAP. Right here, baby. Hey, Doc. You gonna hit the shower after your morning jog? Let me know if you need a hand. Easy up, Alphonse. She's taken. Yeah, I'll take Please Don't Let This Be the Main Cast for 300. Tough fucking luck. This young girl, Lily, has her fever shoot up, and Zoe obviously wants to make sure she pulls through. So she approaches the squad to throw out an idea. What is it? The antibiotics I use on Lily aren't working. I believe it's bacterial pneumonia, which is highly contagious. Her sickness will spread inside this bunker. Many of us will die. Listen, I need you guys to be honest with me. Have I just evolved into some over cynical analyst just reaching for imaginary things to criticize? Because why is everyone talking funny? Is it just ADR so it looks weird to me? It's not even like she's stumbling over her words. It just looks like she's trying to talk. Everyone is reciting their lines with a speech jammer. Regardless, Lily most likely has bacterial pneumonia, which is highly contagious. It's a good thing our only doctor is an anti-masker. Zoe convinces them to take a group to get some medicine for Lily. Baka the lieutenant's brother is Zoe's lover and he will be leading the mission. You okay, my little super spreader? You hold on to this for me while I'm gone? It's my mom's. They used to protect me when I was a little girl. I'm not really disgruntled giving it to you because I'll most likely get it back soon. <laughs> so they head out beyond the fences and after a hiccup, arrive at the hospital she used to work at. I used to do this as a kid. Do what? Move your arm out the window? That's what you're reminiscing about? Man, what I would do to be young again, huh? <laughs> so they hustle in, gather the supplies, and as they hustle out, Zoe takes a detour into her old office. Doesn't inform anyone else. You know, those people that were dragged there to protect her. She finds Max in her office, who... Do zombies shit? She finds Max in her office, bogeys a shot. She gets some good shots off here, though. That had to connected right did they connect i think they had to no it didn't matter this is just her alerting the other rotters got it some fabric rips off of her even though i i didn't see anything i just heard a ripping sound so i know that's what they want me to see and like a good boy max has her scent are you telling me that you and your entire squad had their back turned in this moment? Okay, guys. <laughs> All right. Frank gets bitten up, and this might be the best scene in the movie. Because my man is just getting mauled. Intestines, kidney out, appendix, whatever they can find. It's like a fucking scavenger hunt. He doesn't give a fuck. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, where's my knife? Oh, where's my knife? Oh, where's my knife? Frank the Tank, letting the pearly gates know you got a bad motherfucker on the way. Everybody needs those guys on a squad. For example, in The Walking Dead Survivors, I'm nothing without my tough sharpshooters. I mean, we're taking out walkers like we got beef with the elderly. We're looking for survivors, their fate lies in your hand, build the camp, encounter classic characters from the comics. My squad is untouchable. Oh yeah, get it in, guys. Oh, careful, you're gonna hurt each other. Well, look at my man. Look at that haymaker, unstoppable. The squad returns back, the lieutenant's pissed, and he tells his guy to go check the Humvees. And they wrote that line in the script, knowing full well that they were going to show Max hanging onto the bottom of one of the Humvees. Which I guess we can start there. Real smooth terrain in this post-apocalyptic land. Yeah. And to just outright disrespect us, he rolls out immediately. Look at where they are. There's a guy checking the cars now. A guy that they wrote in to check the cars. This guy doesn't need to exist. 
give him some fucking room? What are you, the refs? Hey, I said no slide tackles, Jimmy. So is that going to be a yellow flag or is that going to be a red flag? Oh my god! These riders are pretty powerful and agile and Max is absurdly intelligent, avoiding detection at all costs. He's the Sly Cooper of riders. And all he wants here is Zoe. He doesn't care about anything else. I mean, I'm sure this guy out in the field had to die, but yeah, he just wants Zoe. Hey, Max is in a vent. Sus. Kind of sus. That's saucy? Kind of sus. I don't know. That's kind of sus. Kind of sus. That's sus. That's, sus. That's, That's sus. kind of sus. <laughs> sus. Max loudly growls in the vent right above Zoe and Baka. And the movie just says, hey, ignore that. This is, uh, shut up. M move on. Jeez. The handyman hears what he thinks is rats in the vent, so he goes to check it out. And Max is like, a rival custodian? Not in my vent! His girlfriend goes to check out on the handyman and... Oof. Real quick, can I just get a show of hands? to see who would choose to open the freshly bloody vent without a weapon and or a group. Just real quick. If you guys don't mind. Okay. Okay. So this woman's just fucking stupid. Got it. Oh, you guys isolating together? Oh no. He's just going back out. That's dope. Max finally finds Zoe and he doesn't want to kill her. I'm like 90% sure he wants he just wants to fuck her. Shit. Her squad shows up and starts to pop shots, and she stops them because unlike the other rotters, Max is still able to think and recognize Zoe. He also won't bite her, so Zoe can possibly find the vaccine with his blood. So they comedically throw a net on him and chain him up in their pre-built dungeon. We got you now, motherfucker! You see what the fuck I mean? If you are written in as tough, you are tough! I'll yell right in this rotter's face! And I'll show him I got a fat dick. Shoot it. Make a wait! If there's a chance so I can do it, we should let her try. Listen, I miss Frank as much as the next guy, but how does that make sense? Not sure a needle would have done too much here. It could have stopped him from turning. Yeah, but I'm just going to reiterate what I just said. I don't think that was the primary concern here. Also, if they were even able to do this chain mechanism, then you can just completely restrain him, right? You should be able to just shorten these chains and make it nearly impossible for him to harm anybody. Zoe needs to capture other rotters to compare their tests with Max and develop the vaccine. And their plan for this is get a group, remove the padlock from the gate, let one squeeze in, he runs towards the flare, is subdued, Dude, held down and drawn from and they need two zombies so rinse repeat so during this process these two men are responsible for holding back these two gates full of rotters they got two people weapons hot they have zoe the person drawing blood and they have a person with the tool to restrain them baka's job hold the flare i feel like we could have divvied this up a little bit better guys regardless when they let the first zombie in do you think that this guy reapplies the padlock during the blood drawing to release some stress <coughs> do they maybe just let in two rotters at once instead to speed up the process <coughs> so they get pushed back to their main doors the lieutenant sees one of them has been bitten and he pops her and i know this guy's a wad but are we just gonna pretend like that's not protocol in every zombie movie the movie paints him out to be such a bad for this but yeah he has a whole camp to protect and so he still has a while before she can whip up the vaccine this girl's fucked so he pops her and then gives zoe 12 hours to develop the vaccine pretty reasonable i'd say why am i in support of the douchebag of the movie why do your other characters suck there are a lot of bad line deliveries in this movie here's the best one man you're ugly max you have my permission <laughs> Max causes a stir and sneaks away one of their key sets, which why the hell does this guy even have your keys? Zoe then rips off some not great narration, which she's been doing all movie, by the way. She just talks to herself through developing the vaccine, which is just such a lazy ass way of getting us here. So anticlimactic. Oh, hey, it's Max. She gets away and the alarm goes off. She tells these guys and only these guys, by the way, no headshots because they need him alive. While running, Zoe remembers about Lily and why are you letting her go off alone? When at the very least, she knows that she's the only thing Max wants. This is the perfect movie to put a stupid bait plan into, into action. And they don't. Lily's mom finds her first. Hey, we got help. Oh, wait, that guy's a dingus. Oh, hey, it's Max. 
I really just don't want to go into that much detail because there's so much just, just butt, butt chung is near the end of this movie. It's just wasteful of both of our time, honestly. Max has Lily hostage. They trade. Doesn't matter. Rodders bust through. Lily runs towards the Rodders because she's fucking stupid. She has to be. She's a kid. That's her over-exaggerated character. Hey, someone below the age of 35 must be a fucking moron. The lieutenant's pissed. He has a squabble with his brother. And what? He dies? That guy, no. Oh, I mean, yes. I mean, I don't know. Watching him go out like a bitch really makes me want to raise a glass to the baddest motherfucker in this movie. And that's Frank. Went out like a fucking man. They cut to Lily running and could you why call her name? Max tracks them and looks for them in the greenhouse and <laughs> Do any of you realize how hard it is to submerge yourself in dirt that's that's already settled there my girl just got plants in the house because well, that's the thing fucking old people do we have plants now i was doing the fucking plant thing putting it in another uh flower pot and i was moving dirt and stuff there is no possible way i'm submerging not only myself but a, an extra little human in this container in dirt let alone in a hurry also what happened to no headshots you hussy why keep him alive if you were just gonna kill him and apparently you're still able to make the vaccine anyways i'm, t I'm trying to talk like you guys you're fucking with me we'll speed things up and oh the hell yeah more narration that's all daddy needed in conclusion thank you to our sponsor the walking dead survivors link below and no i already see the comments you didn't miss anything in the end that's it she develops the vaccine she saves baka because he got bit and then that's it and then she does a narration that's it oh well oh, we're so we're gonna keep the community alive that's it nothing else happens you didn't miss shit if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and here is your second reminder to please leave a like subscribe because i have more content coming your way shout out to my lovely Lovely, lovely, lovely patrons for always supporting the boy. Shout out to Alyssa for retweeting my last video tweet. Subscribe to Mr. GG Live, because it's got great stuff. And as always, I am Mr. GG, and I am out. I just got fully vaccinated today, and I just... I guess from now on, you can call me Mr. GG. GG. G. Someone will get that joke. <laughs>